Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's todayinlighting.com. Thursday, 4 April. We're sponsored by Max Life, energy efficient products for over 30 years. Here are the stories making news. Acuity reported a strong quarter yesterday. Their net sales were 905.9 million, which surpassed the consensus mark of 897 million. Adjusted operating profit of 6%. Yesterday, we posted an interview with Shirley Coyle, president of Creed Lighting Canada, as part of our Education C-Suite series. You can watch that at edisonreport.com. GE concluded its restructuring with the company split into two, GE Aerospace and GE Vernova. It's unfortunate GE is just a small shadow of the great company we all used to know and love. Signify appoints Zhilko Kosanovich as the acting CFO, and that was effective on 1 April. Leah Trinakos joins Dallas Market Center as Senior Director, Audience Development and Trade Show Sales, focusing on growth strategy for the Light Summit. We know Leah well from her time at Light Fair, and we think she will be a tremendous asset to the Light Summit. Congratulations, Leah. UK lighting company Glamox Luxonic rebrands to just Glamox, reflecting its growth, commitment to the UK market, and integration within the Glamox group. Details at designinglightingglobal.com. The DOE launches the last phase of the L Prize, focusing on manufacturing and installation for energy efficient lighting in commercial buildings. Competitors are buying for $10 million. Esma Technology launches multi-watt, multi-CCT LED tubes with switchable wattage and color temperature, reducing stocking costs and offering versatile lighting solutions. Yesterday, the markets were mixed. The Dow dropped 43, but the NASDAQ was up 37, and Acuity gained $2.86 on their news. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.